Hello and welcome to the latest Leaving California video. Today we're leaving California for, for Conway, Arkansas. My guest today is Rick Ketchum. He's a realtor there, very successful realtor in the Conway area. Uh, welcome, Rick. Hey, nice to see you, Terry. Thank you. Uh, first of all, what's up with the Dodgers hat? Uh, uh, you're native California, but what's up with that? I am. You know, I wear my Dodgers hat every day here and stuff. And um, it's just kind of what I do. I, you know, I, it's one of the things I really miss, believe it or not, from Southern California is not being able to go to Dodger games in person. So it's kind of just one of those things. So I support them in, from a distance. Well, uh, well, as a native California, how long did you live in California and what took you to Conway? Well, we were born and raised, my wife and I both, in, in Southern California, uh, actually in Orange County. And we made our way, you know, back here. Um, my dad was originally from Arkansas, so we'd come back on vacations and so forth. My wife just loved the fact of all the trees and all the water and all that stuff, and we just thought it'd be a better place. Applied for a couple jobs, and, you know, they came in, and we came back. Well, and what kind of adjustments were there moving to Arkansas from California? I imagine there were quite a few. Uh, just a few, you know, slower pace. Uh, it's a lot slower pace, um, you know, than the rat race that we saw in Southern California for years. And then, um, let's see, what else was it that I that I was thinking? There's less traffic. You know, it's a, a lot of people work in Little Rock and stuff from here is 35 miles north of us. Um, and they're there in 35 to 40 minutes in the mornings and coming home in the evenings. So those are two things that we have. Again, no Dodger games. So I'm going to lose a hat here for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no Dodger game. As, as, a, as a San Francisco Giants fan, I got to tell you, I, I wouldn't miss the Dodger game. So that's okay. There you go. There you uh, go. <laughs> uh, well, tell me what kind of person moves to Arkansas. Well, you know, we get a lot of retirees that come through and we get a lot of people too that are just looking for a better way of life for their, for their families. And, um, you know, they, a lot of college kids too. We have a lot of kids come in. We've got three colleges here in Conway and like I say, we've got quite a few college kids. Hmm. What's your, what's your population? 66,000, just a little over. Okay. And is it mostly retirees or what kind of person is living in Conway? No, actually, you know, it, it's mostly families and, uh, you know, and, and the retirees and stuff's probably 10 to 15% retirees. And that's kind of skewed a little bit because like I say, we've got, we've got all the colleges in town and of course that adds to our population. And so with that few retirees, that's a lot less than I would have expected. You must have a lot of jobs there then, a lot of people working? Oh yeah, quite a few, quite a few. Yeah, what type, what type of jobs are there? Well, I'll tell you, some of the biggest employers and stuff are healthcare. We have healthcare. We have a lot of IT jobs. Um, DXC Te Technologies is a, a new database company that's moved to town just in the last year, and they they're hiring 12, 1,200 people this year. Wow! And construction, and of course, you know the restaurant and hospitality industry. So on construction, uh, uh, is there a lot of house building going on or a lot of commercial going on? There, there's a lot of house building. There's a lot of commercial going on. The colleges are expanding. The, the hospitals are expanding. The churches are expanding. It's just uh, there, there's construction everywhere. Hmm. Well, let's, uh, let's talk about the weather. Obviously, in California, we have some of the best weather on the planet. Tell me about the four seasons in Conway. Is somebody going to come and get four feet of snow in the winter and, uh, and be 100 degrees in the summertime? Hardly, hardly. We usually have maybe, oh, I'd say two or three days of snow during the winter. And it'll last a day or two, just make everything pretty and white. And uh, the best times of the year are spring and fall. And spring and fall are just beautiful back here. Because if you, as you come out of winter, you've got all the spring foliage coming out. And, you know, the temperatures are usually in the mid 70s to 80s. And then um, in the fall time, that's when all the leaves turn. And it's just absolutely beautiful. And in the winter time, uh, we just don't get a lot, like say a lot of snow or anything. Mid January temperatures are usually in the 20s at night, 40s in the, in, during the day. And um, in the summertime, it's usually in the mid 80s or low 90s. And it gets down to about 70 at night. We don't cool off a lot at night. And uh, 
you know, everybody complains about the humidity and stuff, you know, on, on all the people that are inquiring. We, we get humidity, it gets sticky at times, but not all the time. And it's nothing like you have in, in uh, Florida or New Orleans or Houston that you get down closer to the Gulf. Okay. And then let's talk about severe weather. Do you get severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, things like that? We do. We do. I've seen just a couple of, of tornadoes. I haven't seen them, but, you know, they've been close to us. Conway hasn't been hit with a major tornado since 1968. So, you know, that's a ways back and stuff. They happen here, you know, we're anywhere through the south and the midwest, you're going to see tornadoes. The difference in tornadoes and earthquakes, everybody back here is scared to death of earthquakes. They can't figure out how people in California can put up with all those earthquakes. And, uh, but here, if you've got a tornado or severe thunderstorms, they come on the TV late at night and interrupt and they will track those storms and stuff. And if there's anything that's coming close to you, they'll give you a 15 minute to half an hour warning, you know, that, that something's on track to come your way. And, uh, but like I say, very, very seldom do we, do we ever see anything hit Conway. So with that in mind, are houses available that have basements or, or storm shelters, things like that? They do. They do. Um, I sold one last week that had, um, in the garage, they had built a little safe room and stuff. It's probably, oh, five feet by, by six feet. I'm just real small. And but you crowd everybody in there if you need to. It's, it's not a lot of that that goes on. A lot of the older homes and stuff that were built back in the, you know, the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, you'll see uh, storm shelters out back. Okay. So really, I mean, if you haven't had a tornado since the 60s, I mean, that's over 50 years ago. So it really shouldn't be a concern for people. And I grew up in the South in Florida and we had tornadoes, you know, throughout the, the especially the spring and summertime, but I never saw one coming across the, the you know, the, the plains or anything. It's not like they're, they're prevalent and, and you have to worry about them very much. Right. But again, you know, it, it's just the way that people think in California, they think, oh my God, tornadoes, how can people put up with that? Back here, they think, oh my God, earthquakes, how can those people put up with that? You know, so <laughs> That's a just great kind of point. the way it goes. That's a great point. <laughs> Well, cost of living is a huge factor. It's probably the number two factor as to why people want to leave California that I see. Can you talk a little bit about the cost of living there? You know, utilities, property taxes, uh, uh, state and local taxes, things like that. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, as far as utilities, Conway has a municipally owned, um, it would be a utility company, I guess you call it. It's called Conway Corp. And with that, you can have your, your, most of the homes back here are all electric. So you would have electricity, water, sewer, uh, trash pickup, and with ours, we also have our internet is connected to that. And it runs about $250 a month, all comes on one bill. So it's kind of nice, you know, to, to get everything just all in one. Um, property taxes back here in, the, in Faulkner County are 0.07%. So the median house is around 178,000. And so your property taxes would be about 1265 a year. And which is quite a bit less than, than Southern California or Northern California, wherever in California. And also, um, you know, I kind of ran some, some things on it too, where if you were in Anaheim, a $50,000 salary here would be equivalent to a $70,000 salary in Anaheim and the high end of both San Francisco, of course, and it would be 88,000 in San Francisco, what 50,000 would do back here. That's amazing. So I just wanna to touch on those utilities a little bit, cause that's, that's what gets me. Every year my utility bill for just electricity and gas goes up about $100 a month each year. Right now I'm paying about 250 just for gas and electricity. And then I pay 100 for internet and then sewer is part of my property tax bill. So that's, uh, you know, several hundred dollars a year. So you do all of that, you cover all of that and, 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 and trash. I pay 25, 30 a month for trash. So you, all of that's covered for 250 a month? Yes. Yeah. So do you, do, that's the average here. That's what we pay. And, um, you know, if you want it, you can add cable TV to that too for another 50 bucks a month if you want. And, but like I say, they, they, it's municipally owned, so they have all of this stuff available. You get one bill a month, so it's pretty easy. 
That's, that's amazing. Uh, well, let's turn our attention to housing costs. Gotcha. Uh, what, what do you get for $300,000 in Conway, Arkansas? Well, we sold our house last September and uh, we sold it actually for 270,000. It was 3,000 square feet, five bedroom, three bath, and we had an 1,100 square foot guest home with it, setting on two acres, and it was built in 2000. So it was newer, all brick and stuff, and it sold for 270,000. It was in Greenbrier, which is about 10 miles out of Conway, but again, it's a really neat little town and stuff. So, you know, in Conway, you're, you're gonna be just about the same. Uh, as far as square footage goes, you know, price per square foot, um, in Conway, you'd be anywhere from $95 a square foot to $120 a square foot, depending on amenities and age. So a lot of people who are leaving California are renting. And many of them are probably, you know, renting a two bedroom duplex for $3,000 a month. It sounds like they could move to Conway, get a starter home for what, $200,000? And they're you know, put three and a half percent down on their FHA loan, and, and I'm guessing, but their mortgage is going to be around fifteen hundred dollars a month. Does that sound about right? Maybe a little less, maybe um, twelve fifty to thirteen hundred a month, you know, including, um, you know, uh, taxes and insurance. And if they have PMI on top of that, you know, principal mortgage insurance and stuff, it may go up a little bit. That might get it in the fourteen hundred range. And then for those who, who aren't ready to buy, maybe want to come rent for a, some time, uh, what, tell me about rental prices for, and what you get for that rental price. Okay, the median price on rentals for a two-bedroom apartment or a smaller house is around $775 a month. Okay, we have luxury apartments that have, been, have come in, and they're over 2,000 square feet, got all the granite countertops, and, you know, just beautiful hardwood floors and all the amenities and staff, and they are just opening up and they'll be anywhere from 1100 to 1500 a month. And you mentioned they're doing a lot of house building right now. What, tell me about the prices of the houses that they're building, uh, especially like starter homes and things like that in your area. Yeah, for starter homes, we have, back here they call them subdivisions, out in California we call them tracks. And we have one that, I have one under contract right now and it was 154,000. It's a four bedroom, two bath, and um, sits on a quarter acre lot, includes the sod, not only in the front yard, but the backyard also, and the landscaping and stuff is 154000 And that particular one on that contract, it's a RD loan. Now, RD loans are rural development loans and stuff, and you just get barely out of town, and you can qualify for a rural development loan. And with those, it's, it's usually... Um, nothing up front, so you've got no down payment, and you can incorporate the uh, closing costs into the loan. I had a guy that got in the other day for $458, and he had, um, that was to pay off a credit card. So basically, you got in for free. Wow. I, I, I've heard of USDA loans. Is that the same thing as RDA loans? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's US, US Department of Agriculture, Rural Development. That's what they Okay. Call. Okay. Okay. 